Welcome back guys to a brand new video and I'm playing a new FPS called Shadow Gun Legends. Now right now we're in the multiplayer lobby and as you can see this game looks amazing. It's a brand new first person shooter coming to Android and iOS and it just came out for beta yesterday. So it's on test flight and on the Android beta. I don't think it's public though so I'm not sure if you can get it right now. If it is though I would put link, a link in the description. But anyway, this game is amazing. I don't think they added multiplayer yet to the beta, but I can do the campaign, and the campaign feels good. Just comparing it to Modern Combat Versus a little bit, this game feels so much better than... I will admit, the graphics are not as good, but the game feels really nice. You know these really cool shops right now. They don't really do that much, but I'm pretty sure by the time the game comes out, it will do a little bit of something. And they already got custom controls. I'm going to show you real quick. The custom controls are definitely nice. It's not perfect, though. For example... I can't move my shoot button exactly where I want it. And for players that play Cloud, that's a really big issue. And they still don't have a button for aiming down sight, which they make you double tap. Now, the reason why I need a button to aim down sight is just because, you know, like when you're trying to um, quick scope with the sniper, it definitely helps out a lot. But this is definitely a nice, amazing game. We're going to go ahead and jump into the campaign here. If you don't know, Mad Fingers, they're, that dev company, they focus a lot on the campaign. We're going to go ahead and launch this here. The campaign is made. The thing that makes me feel so nice about this game is the guns feel good. You know, in Modern Combat Versus, the, it just has this weird, like, awkward recoil. It feels so much better in this game. Like, it's a million times better. I'm gonna try to stop comparing it to Modern Combat Versus, though. Let's go ahead and hop in. Definitely pretty cool here. It's really cool. It's a really cool um, gun we got. But I don't know what they plan on adding yet. This is actually one of the first of them testing out a game, and I didn't really do a lot of research about it. So I'm sorry I didn't do a lot of research. I don't really know too much about the game, honestly, because I, I have not played their games often. But I did do a video about this game a very long time ago when they first released a trailer about it. I think we need to go around. Let's go to the side entrance. And you see, the graphics look nice. They look nice. And it's not lagging whatsoever. My phone is e not barely even heating up. It's definitely nice. I think maybe if I do the campaign a little bit, I might unlock multiplayer. I'm not sure. As I said, I did not do a lot of research. I normally do a lot of research when it comes to games, but I just didn't. Let's try out this sniper here. This looks so nice. Let's go around. I think we have to go this way. We don't have a lot of ammo, though. We only got three bullets. Can we jump over this? We were, where do we need to go? We need to go around. Okay, we only got three bullets. Man, I want to do some sniping. Okay, let's go over here. Do some control panel stuff. I said this game is definitely very campaign focused. And I'm person Romy doesn't play campaign. This is not exactly the first mission. I already did the intro mission. I, should, I don't think I could shoot through that. Let's try to go around. I was like, oh, man, I really want to snipe. I guess we can't use a sniper that often. Okay, let's go around here. This shot. There we go. Okay, it does one shot kill. That is nice. I don't think there's any aim assist either. Okay, ran out of bullets. Oh, shoot, the pistol. The pistol. Does the pistol work? Oh, the pistol's good. Okay, the pistol is good. Let's go ahead and switch to this. And I love the way you change your guns in this game. It feels so natural. Oh, there's, there goes an ammo thing. Let's go back to the sniper. Get some sniper ammo. Oh, only three? Come on. You gotta give us some more. But I really hope they fix the controls, though. I'll give the same benefit of the doubt that I did for Modern Combat Versus when it came out for beta. I said I hope they fix it. But they didn't. But I'll give this game a chance to, you know, fix the controls and refine them. Because this game literally just came out for beta a day ago. I just love how it performs very well. And the graphics still look good. Even though they're not as good as Modern Combat Versus. But it definitely looks good. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Fall back, fall back. I'm playing so bad, guys. I'm sorry. I'm a noob at this game. It's my first time playing. I mean, I played for about five minutes yesterday because the game came out last night for um, Test Flight. But I played for like two seconds. And the second I started the first mission, I didn't want to play it at all. I didn't want to, like, you know, miss this option to record. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to play this mission again. Okay, where do we need to go? Let's go up. I think it's the we got to go in this elevator. This feels so interactive, honestly. It's definitely really cool. Oh, you can also change the graphics. I, old games need this. The, the ability to change the graphics. They also have, they have auto, auto, low, high. Every game needs that, honestly. Every game. Every game needs that. Okay, let's go up here. What we got going on? Kill these dudes. Go and reload this thing. But look, look, look how when you aim outside, the animations look so good. Like, look how good this animation look. I, I'm glad they did gameplay over graphics. Like, Game Loft, you need to pay attention. The gameplay feels good in this game. This pistol's actually bad. I don't know why I was saying it was good at first. I wasn't trying it out very well. The, the, the pistol, ugh, it's kind of bad. Okay. Just the sniper. Bro, I'm so bad at these controls. It feels it feels weird, but it fe definitely feels like it works if you want to. Oh, we, let's, just, let's go find somewhere to hide if no scope that dude. Oh no, oh no, we're falling back, we're falling back, we're falling back. I need to find somewhere to hide. 
This is where we need to be. Okay, this is where we need to be. Um, should I kill these dudes? Oh, they're coming for me. And oh no, I need a nade. Do I have grenades? I don't have. I don't think I have grenades. I think we need to be aiming down sight. Okay. This sight looks cool. Look at that. Look, look how I move it. Look how I move it. And it like it, it like. You get what I'm saying? Like it lines up. Like it, that looks so cool. Like. It just, it just feels so much more detailed, honestly, than Modern Combat Versus. I'm gonna stop comparing, like, I bet I'm triggered for comparing it to Modern Combat Versus so much. But I am a, normally a multiplayer guy. I'm not the biggest fan of campaign, to be honest. Like, out of every single Call of Duty I own, I've never finished a campaign at all. Or barely even did, got past the first one. I'm just not a huge fan of campaign. I'm normally, you know, a multiplayer guy. But I think while looking at the messages, they said they added multiplayer. But I just didn't see it. Whoa. Okay. That, that I thought the game broke for a second. That's me pressing the message button. Okay. Let's go around here. I think you can do these missions with your own people you're playing with too. So that's definitely dope. So you like doing like missions with your like, you know, clan or stuff. You can do that in this game. This game is definitely heavily multiplayer based. I do know that though. I've been watching. I've been watching some of the videos that um, Dev's been posting on their channel. Here, are breaching this thing. Oh, so we got to do some coding? Okay. Okay. I don't know what to do. Okay. Oh, this is easy. Okay. This is easy. I know it's gonna be hard. If you ever like um did missions in like GTA and you had a code, it's hard. What do I do? What do I do? This one? Okay. I feel so for not being able to do that fast enough. Okay, let's go. We updated that. Okay, what do we need to do? Download in progress. Okay, we're downloading the thing. Nobody's coming after us. Okay, we're locked in here. That's good. That's good. I wonder how long this first mission is. These graphics look so good. I like the light on the gun. Look how nice the gun looks. It's a Trish the sniper. And the pistol looks good too. Look at that. Look at the way it aims down sight. Okay, transmission ended. Transaction, I don't know what it said. Hop in, I think it's the end of the mission. Oh man, let's walk, let's walk around for a little bit. Let's look around, let's look around us before we miss anything. Let's look, look, look at that sky, I think we're in space. We gotta be in space, that looks nice. If you know, this is obviously a futuristic first person shooter if you haven't noticed. Okay, objective. Okay, let's go through here. I keep forgetting about these things. Let's do that, and are we good, are we good, are we good? Is first mission done? I think we're done. Yes, there we go. Oh, this game does have camos too, by the way. Okay, we got 23 kills. We didn't get a single headshot. 41% accuracy. I think that's actually pretty good. And we did it in under five minutes. Well, under at five minutes. I would not say under. We did five minutes and 54 seconds. And I think we hope we can go back to the lobby to so look at some other stuff. Okay, we're back in the lobby. Oh, we got some crates. Are these for us? Are these for us? Mission complete. Okay. Where can we go now? Let's see if we can do something with these crates real quick. What's this place? Okay. See me when you get something from Pedro. Gotcha. We need to go, I think we need to go over here. I don't want to start another mission, though. I don't want to start another mission. We might just end the video here. I don't see if those... What were those cases I got? Okay, we got the map. Journal. Mailbox. Okay, see, so you see they said right there they added multiplayer. I'm not sure how I get to it. Equipped. Get some loot from the first mission. Oh, that'll look really dope. I, I really want, I, I've seen the cam camos they posted before, and the camos look really good in this game. Okay, let's see what we got here. Oh, we can color them. Oh, do we have anything unlocked? No, they're all black. Dang it. I mean, they're grayed out. That sucks. I only wonder what those cases we got were. But anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. I'm going to see if I can find out how to play the multiplayer. But definitely stay tuned for more videos. I might do some more campaign videos. Oh, are those chickens? Is that a dove? I think that's a dove. Yo, that's a dove. That's dope. That's dope. Let's see if we miss anything around here. We have a casino. Oh, that casino ends up actually working. Come and win. That's dope. Like, if you could win cases or something at the casino, gambling built in, that's a, that would be amazing, honestly. But this little um, hub here looks definitely really cool. But anyway, guys, yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And if you really care, subscribe. Peace, guys.